Hello, my name is Albe Frank. I'm with the Department of Computer Science at the University of Waikato, the home of Weka, and it is my job to tell you a bit about how to use the statistical computing environment R from Weka. So let's get started. Because R is implemented in a different programming language than Weka, which is implemented in Java, getting things set up so that Weka can use R it's a little bit tricky, but we will go through the steps in this first video. The following assumes that you're using 64-bit Windows, 64-bit R, and 64-bit Java. You can also do the same if you use 32-bit versions of everything. Furthermore, we'll assume that you have administrator access on your computer, and we assume that you have a direct connection to the Internet. All right, the first thing we need to do is download R and install it. Download R. Download R 3.2.2 for Windows. That's the current version. And now we should download it by clicking on this download link here. But to save some time, I've already downloaded R and we can just install it from here. Okay. We accept this, we run the installer, we want English as the language, and we just accept the license, which is the same as the one used for Weka. We accept the default install location. Now, because I want to use 64-bit R, I unselect 32-bit files here, and then I just go with the standard setup, and I also want to create a start menu folder and we accept the defaults here as well. Okay, finished. Now we have installed R. The first thing we should do is install a particular package in R that is necessary for R to be able to communicate with Java, the programming environment that Weka is implemented in. So we start R from this shortcut and we get the R console where we can enter text commands. This is the standard way to interact with R, because R is really a, a programming language. So we type in install.packages, and then in quotes and brackets, R Java. Okay, we want to install this in the personal library, and we want to create this library. And because I'm in New Zealand, I want to download are from a New Zealand computer, New Zealand server, so I click on New Zealand here. Okay, R Java has been installed successfully. So we just um, close this, and now what we need to do next is set up some environment variables. So we search for variables using the Windows search functionality, and then we click the item edit environment variables for your account. Right, there are already some environment variables there. We need to add some new ones. We click on new to enter a new variable. This new variable is called r underscore home and the variable value is the location of the r distribution. To find this we right click on the r shortcut and we go on properties and now we have the location of the R distribution here. It's the path to the directory containing the R binaries. So we select everything um, up to the bin folder. Okay. And then we paste it here. All right. So that's the R underscore home variable. The next variable we need to insert is the R libs user variable, which determines the location of the user libraries that R installs. Now we've already installed one user library, namely the R Java library, so we just need to find it and put the location of this library here. So let's just use the Windows search functionality again to search for R Java. It's a file folder. Okay, and now we just go up one level. This is the folder con containing all the user libraries for R. So we right click on this text field and we select copy address as text to copy this path. 
then we go back to our form to enter the variable value for our user variable. We right click and we paste it in. Okay. We're almost done now. The last thing we need to do is modify the path environment variable to include the directory containing the R executable. So we select this path environment variable and click on the edit button and at the end we add a semicolon and then we use the location of the R executable. So in this case we actually use this bit of the path for the R executable. Okay, this should be it. Now we just go OK here. And now what we need to do is install the R plugin package for Weka, which is Weka's interface for R. So we start Weka. And we go to the package manager. Just refreshes the package cache at the start. Once it's done that and popped up the window, we can select the R plugin. R plugin is here. We choose the install button. Okay. Right, there's quite a bit of information here in this window install information for the R plugin. This is about setting the environment variables that we've just set before, so we just click OK here. Now it takes a little while for R to be downloaded and installed, but it doesn't take too long. It actually also installs uh, an additional R library, the Java GD library for R, which makes it possible to output R plots in Java. Okay, now it's finished. We just need to restart Weka. So we close this, close this. Start Weka again. Okay, and now when we start the Explorer, we can load in some data. So in this case, just go to the program files folder, and then the Weka folder, and then there's a data folder. We load in the iris data. And now we can go to the R console, which is a new tab here that comes as part of the R plugin package, which provides us with a console for R implemented in Java. And this console allows us to address the data that we've loaded in the pre-process panel using the name R data. So we can go plot and in brackets R data. And this will give us a plot of the iris data generated by R. Okay, that's it for this video. We will look at the R console a bit more next time. See you later.